My biggest fear was having an ugly baby. Now look. Look what the fuck I got. Look, look, look at him. He is so funny looking. He got all this hair though. My little girl, she bald head. But his funny looking self, he got all the hair. I ain't want to have no ugly baby. I just knew that it was going to be a 50-50 chance that one of these kids was going to come out ugly because of him. Now look. Now I got to wait for his looks and shit to come in. One minute he look all handsome and the other minute he look like fucking alien versus predator. He need to pick a side. He need to pick it quick. That's one ugly baby. Jesus. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire, your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. All right. Thank you. Thank you. You far too kind. <laughs> you guys and gals, you already know what to do. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Poor favor. Come on, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Yeah! Okay, okay, party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. All right, folks, what are we talking about today, folks? Man, Chicago. What's going on over there in Chicago, guys? It seems like the residents had enough of Brandon Johnson and they want to do a recall. With somebody who's obviously a one-term mayor, if he even makes it that far, you better oh, be wow. worrying about your job. Oh. You better be worrying about your longevity because we're going to vote and we're going to get you out because you ain't doing right by us. That's what time it is. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> now, Brandon Johnson is fighting back and he says this is part of the right-wing conspiracy out of the suburbs. They are the ones that want to push this recall. Not you black folks, because you black folks got his back, right? Yeah, Mayor Johnson is dismissing this recall effort is a right-wing effort from folks living out in the suburbs. But Dan laughed at that, saying he's lived in Chicago for 33 years. He is an independent. And in the 24 hours since news came out about this effort, he said there's been an outpouring support from folks of all backgrounds. We're not taking care of Chicago citizens first, and that's what it's all about. The fact of the matter is, is that... We've never had this opportunity to recall before, and it's very apparent, based on the mayor's abilities right now, or lack of uh, accountability, that this needs to be addressed. It's so bad that he doesn't even acknowledge your grievances. He says it's the white people, the right wing conspiracy out of the suburbs are the one that's pushing for this. We need that money in my neighborhood. We need that on my block. So I'm asking y'all to use our tax money for our people. We need it. You vote for the money for these immigrants today, and we coming for them seats. Yeah. You can believe that. They don't care. Black people, listen. Your black leaders don't care about your grievances. Now, if you are white, it would have been a whole different thing. You know, they'd be tap dancing and get it right. But you black folks and your grievances, nah, nah, nah. This is what I don't get. And I hope some of y'all starting to get this, you know. Stop putting black people as your city leaders because they're not going to do nothing for you. They're not, you can't hold them accountable. You know, they know that we are all black. We got to stick together. And that's how they're going to use that against you. Because y'all got false narratives out there and y'all should be ashamed of y'all stuff. Y'all black. Y'all are black. And y'all sitting up here beating and attacking on a black woman that's in power. Y'all should be ashamed of yourselves. So in the future, put a Hispanic mayor, put a white mayor. At least you got a face. You, you got a boogeyman that you could point to and you go to and tell them your grievances. Because if they're black, they're not going to listen to you. 
City Girl Mayor, Brandon Johnson, they're not going to listen to you. Okay, your vote doesn't count. You have no pull here. Your economics, poor. Your uh, your standing is poor. You don't have no real estate, really nothing. So why would he listen to you? Right? So Brandon Johnson, he knows that the city of Chicago have never done a recall before. It's not even on the Constitution. So, again, good luck with that. It's not going to happen. Now, what is going to happen this summer is Chicago has the DNC, the Democratic Convention is going to be in Chicago this summer. And it's going to be fireworks. I can't wait to see the the, the convention this summer. I want to see what y'all going to do. Because Biden is going to have to come in, get the nomination in Chicago. And if you knuckleheads support this, you deserve everything that you asked for. Which, of course, should have been changed a long time ago. So they bring them in. You wonder where the money coming from. They taking it. The COVID fund that was here, yeah. that money. Yeah. You talking about the, all the all the pro housing programs. So when people pay rent, all the rental programs, that money. All the programs that we have in the city of Chicago, they are bankrupting us. They are taking from all of these programs that we have, and they're taking the money, and they're funding the migrants. Yeah. Our taxpayers, we've already paid $32 million out of our taxes to house and take care of the migrants thus far. Now, we already know the only ones who qualify to become citizens in asylum here from the starts of the, they were here after August, they don't even qualify. But here we're going to be taking care of them for five to seven years while there's paperwork floating on people's desk. And why? Send them home. Send them back. But Venezuela already said, oh, we're not taking them back. Mm-hmm. So a, now... Um, who, who did you vote for? <laughs> First of all, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I have no problem with Thomas. Wait, I have no problem with saying that okay. I did vote for Biden because oh, I was not man. voting. Okay. I did. Okay, but here is it. Here on, it is. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, okay, I mean, that was the question. Okay. Have you answered it right? Okay. <laughs> the this this um, migrant influx that we're dealing with right mm-hmm. now. This is your fault. Uh-oh. Okay, well, let me say, hold up, hold up, hold up. First of all, it is, first of all. Okay, if you black folks don't walk around with red MAGA hats on your head, I'm talking about in the millions, all of y'all got to make a statement, have a red hat on, and tell them that you had enough. But this summer, if y'all come down, there's more, a lot of black folks, a lot of black support, and they're going to welcome Biden, you deserve everything. You have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump and you ain't black. All right, this is your last damn. They're not listening to you. Brandon Johnson, he's part of the machine. He's not listening to you. But this summer, the Democratic Convention, when it comes in town, the only statement you can make, you can riot, don't riot, don't riot, but you can march in the streets, wear a red MAGA hat. Say this to you, Mayor. Governor, President, if you think that they're that powerful, that you have to acquiesce and answer to them over us, then you tell them to vote for you in these next elections. That's right. You tell them to support your Democratic National Convention. And we're going to show you how, how we feel about the Democratic National Convention. Turn it up. Thank you. If you think you're going to have a peaceful Democratic National Convention in the city of Chicago while our people are starving, That's right. stay tuned. That's right. I bet you start listening then. Anyway, that's my thoughts for today. I hope you guys are paying attention. And I said it before, do not wait till November to vote. If your state has early voting, make sure you be the first one in line and bring a friend. Do not wait till November. If you're going to mail in your ballot, make sure you mail it early and get some kind of receipt that you did it. All right? Do not wait till November. This election is too big to rig. All right, guys? And we all count on you guys. If you got any value out of my content, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on the notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends. Tell your mama I said hi. (laughs) All right, all right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And all you haters... Get off my lawn.